All right, guys. Hey, uh, that guy killed with another video uh, review. I'm basically not going to be reviewing the uh, the game itself. I'll probably do it. I, I probably will do it in a little bit uh, in a couple days. But I want to let the the hate <laughs> the hate on this game die down just a little bit. Um, I kind of figured it was already going to. I kind of feel figure I I kind of figured it was already going to be like this. Um, because of what I've seen in the beta and the alpha. So, guys don't know, Spectre Divide just came out today. Uh, it is a competitive 3v3 tactical shooter driven by duality. Now, what does that mean? It means that you get to play two characters. You can put one character in one spot... And and may play your main character and you get what i'm saying you can play like really cool themes on it um we're gonna watch the trailer i want to tell you about the hype that was into this this is yes and this is shroud's game shroud was a partner in this game this isn't shroud's game shroud was a partner in developing the gameplay and the gun style and the aesthetics of the game. He didn't make the final decisions on this. So don't throw hate on Shroud. It's not Shroud's game. Um, but we're going to watch the trailer. I'm going to show you what it's about. So the, already the art style is really nice. I like it. I like the style. It's very, very nice. The guns seem pretty cool. You know, I mean, like the trailer shows you just a bit of what's going on. Obviously, you know, they can put that, see that person right there, dies. Oh, can be revived with another player. Boom, bam, boom, right? Now, the trailer shows bots, which is un, which is weird. Doesn't show real gameplay. This is bots, or this is a tutorial. This isn't a real gameplay. So, like, if we go to Call of Duty or if you go to, like, Apex, they have trailers on their game, and it's actually gameplay. It's real players, playtesters, or pro players playing an actual game. This is not. This is a cinematic. Why they chose to do this is beyond me. Some of this seems legit, but it doesn't seem authentic. See? I don't know. It reminds me of what Borderlands would do if they ever created a competitive shooter game. Um, yeah, and the rest of it, they advertise that it's free, yada yada. That's good. Well, as you can tell, we're sitting at 43% of the 1,635 user, user reviews for this game are positive. Now, what does that mean exactly? That means that 67% or 57% 57% wow 57% um were very unhappy with the game now there's a bunch of speculations on it I mean what we can do right now is we can look up was it how you spell it <laughs> okay Spectre divide steam charts. Wow, that's like the first thing that someone that's the first thing that someone put on there. 23,000 people. Now, let's go to Twitch and show you Shroud. Shroud has over 20,000 people playing the game. I mean, I was, I was over 20,000 people in his chat. That's that's cool. He has as much people playing the game as he does in his chat. What does that tell you? That tells you that this game speaks volumes for Shroud's community. It's great. It's great. They need that. Other than CSGO and Valorant, they need something like this. They need something to spice up and move up the, the gaming tactical shooter genre, right? Let's see what people hate it. Okay, so right off rip, we're going to have the left side which is basically like uh steams i always call it steams um like uh, what do you call it 
like basically like this is their way of basically putting everything into a summary that's what they say it's the most helpful reviews for new players but in real really what this is this is basically playing damage control for the game that's basically what i call it so you have damage control and you have the honest reviews which are the recently posted you always always go for the recently posted if you want honest reviews if you want reviews that are going to show you the comparison of what people have been playing before rather than now and then why they chose this game over all those games this is you want this section the left section so that's that's why at least that's what i call it all right so we're gonna look at the left section and we're gonna look at the right section the left section, Spectre Divide, a game where you divide your team between screaming at your teammates and screaming at yourself. Depending on what one on what one of the two characters you are using, Valorant and Counter-Strike, but the but with bipolar disorder. I agree. There's a lot going on. A lot of people aren't gonna really be able to put their true skills to the test. Um It doesn't really it gives you a limitations by saying it's unlimited expect or unlimited in you know expectations which is not true there's very limited gameplay in this very limited it's not it's it's not a it's not a if, i don't know if you have a linear road to go on and everyone has to walk that road to play the game to play your game to succeed in your game and everyone's following suit it's not really a fun game not a very creative game. And that's what you guys are advertising this game for. Being creative. Uh, good game. I don't think that person had fun. Uh, Co-sponsored by Riot Games. I don't know what that means. I don't know why they said that. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Uh, this guy played... Uh, by the way, these, this shows you how many hours they played in the game. So... I don't know why it says 0 0.4 and 0 0.2. This doesn't seem like it's a legit. So we're not going to go off that. This person probably played beta, and that's why he's he, he, he logged into it, and he's just playing it. So let's see what it says. I don't think this opinion is going to matter too much, though. Putting aside the skin drama, which we'll get to that in a second, which I have no issue selling skins for however much you want. However, when they are infinitely more basic and ugly than every other game, you can't justify the pricing. The game is just ugly, which I don't know if about ugly, but it, it's like they're trying to capture a comic slash Borderlands feel, and they kind of fucked it up. It feels like I'm playing Paper Mario when I see it. Uh, the art choice they decided to roll with does not look appealing at all. Characters all look ugly and extremely plain. The gameplay and overall gameplay is nothing different from the already established Titans in the space. That's not true. This guy is taking basically things and he's nitpicking uh, things out of each subject. And he's not really thinking about what he's nitpicking. So the guns and the characters... Or the characters itself, I'm going to address this first. The characters itself do look ugly, and the art style is very bland and very plain. It's kind of like Paper Mario mixed with very dull colors. Nothing is very eye-popping besides the fact that they put pink and they put yellow in certain spots to make you go, oh, wow, they're colorful, which is not. It's, it's just two colors. Um... But the gunplay and the overall... Uh, the gunplay and the overall gameplay is different. You can't say it's the same and because Counter-Strike, you play one player. There's no different classes, really. There is roles. Um, and Valorant, there are character abilities, but there's no, there's no duality in the game. So, And the guns are completely different from each other. From Valorant to Counter-Strike to this game... There, there are, I, in my opinion, now I don't play much tactical shooters. I've only I have a hundred hours in call, a uh, hundred hours in Counter Strike. I have barely fifty hours in Valorant, and I have not played this game, uh, besides beta. So I don't really call it playing the game if you play it in beta because the final copy, right? In this case, though, the beta was two weeks ago. I believe it was around two weeks. The closed beta was two weeks ago. So. If you guys don't know what's familiar with the games nowadays, developers, and how do you make a successful game, or how you try to make the formula of a successful game, is that you develop a game eight, 
six, 10, 12 years, whatever, develop a game. But when it gets to the point where it's playable um, and, the, and you have an aesthetic picked out, you have majority of the characters you want to roll out already designed, not in the game, but already designed. Basically, you have a, a plate with a little bit of food on there. Well, you can serve that to people. You can serve that via play testers. They're called alpha play testers. They give out feedback. They look for things like bugs, um, imbalances, character designs, flaws, gunplay, gun flaws, all that stuff. You can even do it for free. Um, people will, will, are willing to sign up for that. And that's called a closed alpha. A closed alpha, you know, test. That's what it's called. Um, after that, you do that for about a couple weeks. Gather all the information, maybe a month. Um, maybe even a week. Depends on what kind of game it is. You get information is my point. And you fix that, your game with that information. Well, you give yourself and developers some time, three, six months after that, maybe even a year, if you really wanna make it good. Uh, I, I don't see why taking a year would probably be too long. But um, then, you, then you do what's called an open beta. Now, what's the difference between an alpha and a beta? Well, an alpha is the beginning stage of a game where it's basically not completely ready and it has none of the things fleshed out yet. A open beta is when things are fleshed out and you have a you have more than just a plate with full, full of scraps. You actually have a plate with turkey dressing, stuffing. You have all that shit, but it's it's not quite there yet. The taste isn't there yet. The, the, it, it, it could be used some extra salt, whatever. That's what that's for. So a, a closed alpha is basically where you have limited playtesters trying to basically make the game playable. And then you have an open beta where you invite even more people, obviously, since it's open. Then you stress test your servers so that way you can see the influx of players. So that way you can handle it. Your servers can be able to withstand that kind of gameplay. And you flesh out the remaining bugs and over powering links right that's what you do in a game um uh in this case specter divide did a did a closed alpha but they didn't call it that they called it a closed beta now how can you tell from a game developer knowing what they're talking about and actually succeeding with their words well when they use terms like closed alpha and open beta but when they use a term called closed beta, that's when you got to be worried because you know what that means? That means they're putting the closed alpha and the open beta together. So what happens when after an open beta? Well, typically after about 30 days to 60 days after an open beta, even sometimes 90 days, the game is released 1.0. In this case, they went from 0.2 update to 1.0. They literally skipped a whole year's worth of development. What happened was, in my opinion, and this is, we're going to go through the other reviews. What happened, in my opinion, with this game, and I'm going to give my overall opinion, but so far from what I'm gathering is that they accumulated so much hype for this game through via streamers, a.k.a. Shroud, um, one of the biggest names on the platform, right? And they took that, they took that and ran with it. I don't know why they did that. It, there's no benefit. Because if you know games, even the entertainment space in general, there's a reason why the term you only get 15 minutes of fame, there's a reason why that term is actually valuable. And it always will be. Because it's right. You're only going to be remembered in 15 minutes and then you're going to be forgotten. Make those 15 minutes absolutely count they had their 15 minutes and now they're asking for more because they fucked up in my opinion and in in games and entertainments period you need to take your time you need to do it right and you need to have several rough drafts that's just my opinion to make a successful game you need to do that the, the, it doesn't make sense why you would want to rush it and besides the fact that you want more money we'll get to that point in just a second though all right so we're going to scroll down uh i want to know i want I, like obviously since there's so many reviews on this uh 
it it blows my mind to see all these people i don't know i don't want to keep my mind i want to keep my overall opinions to myself just say okay <clears throat> Let's get some good reviews. I'll get down to that one in a second. Let's get some good reviews. This one looks really good. 0 0.3 hours on record. I want someone that has more than that. Okay, here we go. I got I, I, three hours, I guess. I don't know. Oh, here we go. This is details. Okay. Um, I see a lot of complaints about issues with the game or the gameplay. Here's my personal opinion. I have had zero issues with the game so far in the terms of glitches or its ability to function. That just means that this person wasn't really looking out for it and this person was really hyped for the game and he probably looked past all the, the glitches or didn't even notice them. Um, the gameplay, gunfights, movement, abilities feels very smooth in comparison to other FPS games currently on the market. That's not true. I would say that that Valorant is probably the best and the probably the smoothest game and that could have probably changed but when I have played it that was the smoothest gameplay I've ever had for a tactical shooter besides call how can you say that's even right <laughs> I mean I think this is probably the worst game to even say that about Okay, um, I am not a fan of how the buy menu works. I think it could use some improvements. Means, I guess, he couldn't find a way to buy the skin? Huh. The maps feel fairly balanced. All around, I find the game to be very enjoyable. It sounds like that you weren't really paying attention uh, to anything because these two statements doesn't make sense at all to coincide with one another. And not only that, but you can't say this was the smoothest game in comparison to Counter-Strike and Valorant. That's dumb. That's very stupid. Um, and the fact that you don't agree with the buy menus is weird. Uh, I don't know. The good reviews seem like they don't really make sense because, like, the, I don't know. The gameplay is close to Valorant because of different sponsors. And I guess the people are called sponsors. I can't remember. And abilities, but it's it has a nice borderlands like graphics that's what i said the movement is a bit slow but shooting feels pretty good because every weapon has 100 percent accuracy and the ADS adsing even when moving what makes the game less dependent on lucky shots while running so you can so everyone has aim assist so everyone has aim assist i don't know if i want to play this game this description does not seem like it's a good thing for a tactical a tactical shooter to have a hundred percent accuracy while adsing i don't know if that's true i don't know if that's true the double life is a very interesting mechanic which i really liked because it lets you think of many many interesting tactics it helps to cover whole site by yourself and holding different positions the economy and balancing is very pretty is pretty good for a new game too in my opinion the balancing it can't be good if you can 100% if, the, if you if if the if ADS seems like that, there's no way it's balanced. The economy, yeah, there's no way. Overall, a very interesting game, worth a try because it's a nice it's a nice to play a game with new mechanics. Just because you it has new mechanics doesn't mean that it's 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 a good game. That's all this person said. This person says because it's new mechanics, it's a good game. That's not true. I also like that they hired a pro player to make an and better on <laughs> so that's where it stems from right do you guys get it now are you guys getting the pattern of why where these good reviews are coming from like people are literally lining up pulling down the pants of shroud and just going ooh, ooh. i don't know why well i guess i do but you got to be honest with yourself First of all, he's an ex-pro player. Not saying anything about him, but there are pro players you can actually hire that are to date, you know, better than Shroud. 
um, that have more insightful opinions. Now, I'm not saying Shroud doesn't have insightful opinions, but I'm just saying, in general, you could actually pick a real person that is, to date, a pro player with actually good ideas. You don't need Shroud, or you don't need to hide behind the facade of because Shroud's in the Shroud to help us put this game together, it's good. I think that is where it's failing. It's put so much stock on one person because they're really good at FPSs, it's putting a lot of stock on that so um we're gonna scroll up what they're talking about is this a hundred and ten dollars for a skin pack and the skin pack the skin pack isn't even that good it's not it really isn't that good you get 43 oh but you get currency you get the currency man so you get this you get the weapon skins which aren't really that good you get the you get the specter points i guess you'd use them to buy uh you use them to buy the the characters um from what i understand i guess so yeah but Okay, so so the Founders Pack is only $70, but still, okay, so $70. But you have a skin pack that's $70. Oh, there's a, there's a trailer for it. So this is what he means by ugly, by the way. Like, everyone has, like, a weird chin space. Like, it's just weird. Like, I don't know. So there are sprays. Wait a minute. 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 That's a banner. You're making people pay seventy dollars for this banner, for a piece of this banner. Really? This could be a default. <laughs> this could have been an easily default. It just says Spectre on it. It doesn't even say your full name. And these skins are, are just generic. They look like Apex skins, do they not? To me, they look like Apex. They look like they copied off of Apex. The, the skin, the, the it, Archangel. You can't even read Archangel on it, bro. What? Okay, you can see that one a little bit clearer. I guess. I don't know. It feels like, like, and this is another one. <sighs> so they rushed the game. There's a lot of bugs in the game. They rushed the game and they're adding $70 price tags to it. So what is true and what isn't true from these reviews? Okay. So from a person that has been playing this game uh, and I've gotten, I actually got to, to talk to a lot of people playing this game off rip today. So I want to tell you guys what my final thoughts are on this game and why it has to really think about its direction in the future. One, you need to design this game that it's not just driven by duality, but it is a competitive driven game. You should have never put a price tag on anything in this game. You should have let everyone earn the spots in this game. Do you know why? Because you're not only setting up a reputation for yourself, but you're also riding on another person's reputation. Why would you think that charging $100 for a skin pack would be okay? It's not. It is not okay. That is... People are only going to call you greedy. Why would you want to set up that reputation for yourself? Um, another thing is Shroud did not make this game. He put ideas into this game and it's up to them to listen. Now, they put, they put his face all over this game and they had to have done it because he had to have sign off on it. Um, but in my opinion, it, it needs to change. 
this gaming space where they're rushing out the game and then putting in a price tag of $70, it's just going to make people not want to play the game and not support you. But Shroud is a big audience. So they're going to play it regardless. The direction in this game needs to be not esports right now. It needs to be competitive and it needs to set up a proper uh, matchmaking system for their ranked. Um, they also need to set up um, another. They need to basically put this game into beta. and Or at least state that this is game is in beta. But it's not. They full released the game. Not only did they full release this game, but they full released this game on the same day Concord, another shooter game, has announced its failure and shutdown. It's not a good look, man. It's not a good look because they're making the same mistakes as Concord did. The character designs are ugly. The models, nobody really asked for this game in the first place. There's already other tactical shooter games that you can play that are well more versed. Yeah, they have the duality section into this, but that's only going to be jarring for a certain amount of people. Uh, how how um, Shroud sold this game was that he said, I think it's actually down here, isn't it? Yeah, he, he says in this one that I, I witnessed firsthand Mountaintop's desire to bring something fresh to the tactical shooter genre. And over the past two years working together, we've honed, on, honed in on something I really think you'll love. Now, this is something that I think Shroud has designed this game for competitive casual players. As you can see, he says that it keeps my brain going. But you can only do the same certain things once or twice before it becomes a repetitive meta and that's what this game is going to turn into a game where everybody's rushing to the same spots for that current meta and you could argue well that's how every other tactical shooter is well then why are they advertising that this game is not like any other tactical shooter so, I don't know. It's my opinion at the end of the day. You guys can shit on it if you want. I don't really give a shit. I just want to throw my little opinion out there about this game. I think it's funny that all these games are coming out, rushing out, and they're failing immediately. Don't really like to see it. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. I think it's ironic. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I stream every single day. I post videos, you know, two videos every week. Um, reviews and gameplay. I just wanted to see exactly what this is. I'm probably going to try this game out and see where it lands, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like it. I don't really like tactical shooters. Um, I do like Shroud, but I don't like tactical shooters. Shooters, not my thing. Not really my thing. But, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much. For, again, like, subscribe, comment. I want to know exactly what everyone thinks about this game. I want to know if you bought the $100 pack, it, was it worth the $100 pack? I want to know if it was worth it. Because it, it, the game does not look like it would be worth it. In any case, guys, I'll see you later.